Everywhere, baby. I'm everywhere. TV I'm saturating Sean the Daly. market. I know. Here to talk about some music today. Yes, finally, my day job on the pop music crack. The uh, well, anyway, the music floodgates have opened for fall. Uh, why last, is that? Why do, why, why do they wait until now? Well, you got the holiday season. You got um, uh, Grammys. The Grammys are coming on. The deadline for the Grammys for this year is in, in about a week or two. So everybody wants to uh, get in there. They have this phenomenon called the Super Tuesday. And last Tuesday was Super Tuesday. Something like 40 albums were released. Big ones small ones you know it's it's just flying the market and i, re I just reviewed three of them mm -hmm. and uh weezer uh, one of weezer, them weezer yes Power pop guy, I love Rivers love Cuomo. Weezer. The thing about this album is called Hurley. The thing about Weezer is that every Weezer album kind of sounds the same, you know. That's, that's and okay. I look, yeah, yeah, it's like comfort food. I like it. I like it. But this one is, I don't know. I think they did it better the last seven times, you know. Also released was uh, this guy Jamie Johnson. I call him like the Sasquatch of Nashville. He's this big hulking country guy. Well, I was born by fire in a cold, dark cave in the age of the dinosaur. And the caveman called his cave woman loving on the missing link. Um, he wrote Honky Tonk Badonka Donk for Trace Atkins. Nice. I've seen you dance yeah, at uh, well, Dallas Bowl to that. One before. of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Jamie Johnson wrote, did this album called The Guitar Song. It's a double disc. I remember, double platter from yeah. all old days. Double. Yeah. And it is just absolutely fantastic. It's kind of uh, downbeat. It's a little sad, but it's really, really like bravura uh, music making there, and it's great. And this is so, when somebody's got so much they've got to cram it so into So much two going on, albums. but there's not a lot of filler on that. I think it's 25 songs. There's some covers on there. Chris Christopherson's For the Good Times he does, but a lot of like original stuff. A song called Heartache he does, where he he, he sings it from uh, the perspective of heartache. as almost like this kind of monster. It's great. Uh, the other one, the big Super Tuesday release, was uh, Robert Plant. Robert Plant, something from the old school. A little old school. Old school. Yeah. This album is called Band of Joy. It's kind of a sequel to 2007's Raising Sand, which is the Grammy winner, okay. winner with Alison right. Krauss. It's a little more uh, upbeat than that, but um, it's pretty good. It kind of reminds you of a collection of B-sides. There's about five or six good songs on there. Very moody, that Americana Roots thing. And so that's big. And then on Tuesday, huge release, um, Zach Brown Band. Ah. May have lost this battle, live, fight another day. Now I'm Dave Matthews, like a, a, a Jack Johnson. I mean, he's kind of got that jam band thing going on, but also country and pop. The Buffett thing, yeah. He's a Buffett thing. So it's like a Zach Brown band. It's, it's like an experience, that concert. So look for that album, too. It's really, really good. Indeed, a feast for Boom, your ears. like that. And as mentioned, the musings of this multimedia maven. <laughs> of all things, pop culture can be followed on the pages of the St. Pete Times and online at tampabay.com. And he can also be seen in this very program later on as he follows in the footsteps of Twiggy the water skiing squirrel. <laughs> yes, Sean is going to attempt to s stand on water and, and ski, so I think that's pretty much not Miss Television. Yeah. He really is everywhere. Music and skiing you and everything You can't get else. away from him. He's all over the place! <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> a little bit of energy. Yes, thanks, Will. Got it. Well, you know, this morning a photographer is claiming singer Adam Lane